You guys know what time of year it is. It is crafts time. Um, we are in the train station. We're just in the waiting room at the moment because we've probably got a little bit of time before our train comes. Um, but this year, the vlog is going to be very exciting and crafts is going to be very exciting because I am taking someone with me. <gasps> are you coming to crafts? Are you coming to crafts? Yeah, so um, we were really lucky enough to get invited to go to Crafts with the Neutral Dog Company. You guys know, I mentioned them last year, I am obsessed with their stuff. Um, so it was a literal dream to be able to go with them to Crafts. Um, so yeah, Nelly is going to be joining me for the day to go, which is just incredible. So, so exciting. Um, it is absolutely throwing it down outside. It is not the coziest of days. It's very cold. Um, so we're gonna wait in this waiting room for now and then we're gonna jump on the train. Um, yeah, so I splashed out on some first class tickets. I'm hoping that's gonna make it easier to take Nelly on the train. Um, we've done it before, so it should be okay, but I am a little bit nervous because the last time we did it, it was quite chaotic and stressful. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling positive. I have filled my bag with absolutely loads of treats. Um, so we should be able <laughs> to get through the day. I think I'm just a bit nervous. Um, but yeah, I will bring you guys along with me. I will make sure to tag everything that we see in the description down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like and do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in a sec. Honestly don't 
I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know we are back from Crufts. It was incredible. Guys, I think I'm still in shock about how amazing it was. It was so, so sweet. We met so many lovely people. I think you already know that Nelly just kind of draws people in. So we were just chatting to literally everyone. It was just the most wholesome, wholesome day. Um, and we did a lot of shopping. Um, and I thought I would do a little bit of a Crufts haul um, to show you guys what we got, what kind of the new bits were that we found. Um, I'm just gonna sip a coffee, hang on. Literally made myself the biggest coffee I possibly could because it has been a long weekend. Okay, so obviously the first thing that I have to start off with is to show you guys the harness that Nelly was wearing for the trip while we were there. So you might remember this from my last Crufts vlog, which I'll put the link up below. Above. I'll put the link up above for you all to see. Um, but we were lucky enough to get invited to Crufts to go with Neutral Dog Company. Obviously, that is a dream. You guys know that I'm obsessed with neutrals. Our whole house is neutral. And to be honest, Nelly is neutral. So to go with the Neutral Dog Company was just insane. Like, literally incredible. Um, Nelly spent the day in this harness, which is the cookie dough design. I honestly just think it is adorable. These harnesses wash so, so well. Um, we actually wore this one on a walk where it got super duper muddy and it's been washed and it's come up pretty clear. So yeah, I think it's just absolutely adorable. So Nelly wore that for the day and then we also paired it with this lead, which is also from the Neutral Dog Company. Comes in this kind of classic rope design. It really helps when she's pulling because you can get such a good grip on it. So that's great. And then the clip, I just feel like it's quite cool. It's quite a unique design, which I think is really, really nice. So yeah, thank you so much Neutral Dog Company for inviting us to Crufts. It's been a dream. Um, and yeah, it's safe to say we will be wearing this harness a lot more often. So in terms of shopping, Honestly, I didn't see loads that I was absolutely desperate for. I think part of that is because I have such a good dog accessories collection already. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I brought, it felt very practical um, in that sense. But what we started off with... Shall I do this? I'll do this in sections. So so i'll show you guys the toys that i got and then i'll show you kind of like the food and treats that i got and then also maybe some of the more generalized pet care bits so in terms of toys obviously you know i could not have gone to crafts and not come back with a load of tug enoughs like are you going to crafts right if you don't come back with tug enoughs that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying when we took Nelly into the Tug Enough section, I don't think I filmed any of the Tug Enough bits because obviously all the Tug Enoughs were just hanging like that and Nelly was going wild. She was trying her best to be a good girl and not play, but oh man, you know when you can see it on the dog's face, they're like, please, please let me play. Um, it was hard, it was so hard in that and the stool was so busy, so I didn't get to film much of it but we did get to buy a few bits. I'll show you what I've got here, and then I think Tom might have taken one of the other bits that I brought, so I'll tell you a bit about it, and then if he's got it, I'll try and insert a clip of it for you instead. But in essence, I brought this one, which is the Rabbit Skin Pocket Squeaker. Uh, so it's got a squeak in here, I'll test it out, but if you've got dogs, turn the sound down now. I just think that is obviously so so handy i really like this sort of toy for when you're practicing recall 
um, I think it just makes it a bit more of a game and then obviously because this is real rabbit skin the dogs do go absolutely wild for it which is ideal so I felt like this would be a really handy one to either just have in my coat pocket or in my handbag or Nelly's cheat bag just ready to go straight away for when I really need to capture her attention and keep her locked on me um so that was great then we also got one of the toys that we used to have but we actually lost um which is basically a lamb's a lamb skin or lamb wool um kind of like pulley toy and in essence nelly is obsessed with this toy she really really loves to play tug anyway and yeah she just absolutely loved this toy to pieces you'd pull it out your pocket and her face would just light up so i was super keen to get another one of those use it for play times i feel like i can't stress enough how much i see a difference in Nelly's behaviour and bond with me after we've had one of the Tug Enough play sessions. She just seems so much more locked on to me and what I'm saying and what I'm asking her to do. Um, I don't know, I think it's just the, like Tug Enough is just the ultimate reward for her. Um, so I had to get another one of those as well for kind of the more longer play times. Then they had a special crufts offer on. So when you brought two items, you got a free one. So this is the Pocket Fantastic in pink. Um, yeah, literally just a little version of the Tug Enough in bright pink. It is faux fur, so it's not going to be the real fur, like the rabbit skin one that I had before. Um, but again, just because there's me and Tom, I thought it'd be really handy to just have another little pocket one um, or handbag one that's just ready to go straight away um, to play with. So yeah, that was what we got from Tug Enough. I'll try and link what I can down below. But guys, seriously, I cannot recommend Tug Enough enough this is a game changer if you want to build a bond with your dog that is going to be super super strong this is the way to do it so definitely if you're interested in that sort of thing head over to their website put yourself an order in the toys are a little bit expensive but i genuinely do feel like they are really really good quality um we haven't been able to break one yet and i can't say that about any other toy that we have owned to be honest all the other toys have been broken tug enoughs they stay strong nelly has really really pulled at them really really tried to rip them and she's not got anywhere so yeah i really really rate these so the next toy we've got is this little piggy it's got wings it is super cute i'm literally obsessed with how cute this piggy is so it is made from quite a strong material um, Nelly has already had a few play times with this one and she hasn't actually got into it yet. I am really, really impressed. Obviously it has got that change of textures which really interests the dogs. So we've got this kind of like lined bit here and then the more typical dog material here. We've also got then rope on the tail. Then also we have the wings. So the wings again have got two textures. So they've got this line texture here and then they've got this pokey texture here where the dogs can bite on. This is so good for helping to brush the dog's teeth while they're playing and biting on this. They're kind of helping to clean off any of the kind of excess that's on their teeth. So it's a really, really nice way to kind of build that process, but it's also playtime. It's really, really helpful. Also, I just felt like it was so cute. We literally saw it and I was just like, Nelly would love that. And Nelly would actually love that little guy. Um, so we had to get it. Um, this was from House of Paws. And I want to say it was like 12 or 14 pound. I don't mind paying that much for a toy if I do think it's going to be able to survive Nelly. And so far it's doing a good job. We are also on a bit of a journey with teeth brushing. Um, we're not the best at it. We're not the best at brushing Nelly's teeth. It's hard work. Um, so I thought like this would really help us just to begin to get her used to the feeling of things like that being around her mouth. So yeah, I really, really rated this one. Okay, so next we will move on to food. We did get quite a few really cool bits actually that I'm quite excited about treat wise. Um, so the first thing we got was a few treats from a brand called Sniff Snacks. I'll try and link them down below, but in essence, they do all natural dog treats. 
and they actually gave Nelly a little taste of a few of them. I feel like that was one of the best things about having Nelly with me for the whole day was that she could literally try things and let me know straight away if she liked them or if she didn't. Um, and she was obsessed with these treats. Like once the man had given her one, she was locked on and she was doing her best sit to try and get more of them. So I kind of felt like I had to give them a little try. Um, so we have the Salmon Skin Crackling. All of these were made in the UK, which I think is really, really nice. Um, and then it is Scottish salmon that they have got. So some of the stuff that they do is they, it, all the food is 100% human grade. A lot of Nelly's food at the moment is 100% human grade anyway. Um, it's just something that's really important to me to make sure that she's eating kind of like the best quality stuff that I can provide for her. And then obviously because it's fish, it is really rich in omega-3. Again, really, really important to me. I know that cockapoos can be prone to, to some joint issues. So trying to make sure that we're getting some fish oil in that does kind of mean a lot to me and then it also says that there is no corn wheat or soy no antibiotics and no gmo so yeah i just felt like it was such a high quality product i was really really excited for they had a crust offer on so i got the crackling but then i also got freeze dried raw um which is atlantic salmon um, which they have freeze dried and it was obviously raw when they did it again this has got all the benefits that i mentioned before literally the same um but just in a slightly easier way i feel like with the crackling i probably give her that when we're sat down somewhere for a slightly longer period of time um whereas with these i feel like i could break these up into little bits and just put them in the treat bag for when i really need to get her attention on the same lines again we had the salmon fillet strips so these are kind of like long strips that you can break into pieces um all the same benefits again just slightly more user friendly literally break into tiny pieces feed to your dog um i did kind of go down the fish route just because i don't really include fish in nelly's daily meals um so including it as part of treats i felt like was a good alternative after that, I also wanted to have a look at some more health-centered food, although I'd say that's pretty health-centered as well. Um, so we went and saw Ye Move, or Ye Move, um, and we picked up this digestive care kit. Um, so this is this has got some probiotics and fiber in. I won't go into too much detail about the health of Nelly's gut because I don't think you'll want to hear about it. Um, but I'm super keen in promoting kind of her having as much of a healthy gut as she possibly can. Um, and I felt like this was a nice way to kind of include that a little bit more daily in her meals rather than kind of dealing with something when there's a problem, being a bit more proactive and adding those probiotics in early, I felt like would be really, really helpful. So I grabbed some of that. And then they also had an offer on their dental sticks. I like the fact that um, that you move is very much health focused and often it's very much recommended by vets um, so I felt confident in having a go at trying their dental sticks um, whereas I've seen maybe questionable reviews from other brands so I was confident in giving this one a go um, so I got the one for medium dogs and they're just kind of little twizzly sticks that they can have and enjoy I probably could have gone down to the small dog one I think I probably picked up ones that were too big but I am thinking I could probably just cut them down to size a little bit to make it work um, I managed to get two packs of those because they were two for ten so I grabbed a pack of them we did then also go and visit Nature's Menu. I'll show you the little tote bag they gave me. Um, I have decided to trial Nelly on some raw food. Um, I am a little bit nervous about it and I'll tell you guys how it goes. Um, but I'm quite keen to see if that will improve, have a lot of health benefits. Um, and yeah, from kind of talking to Nature's Menu and discussing 
kind of Nelly and her needs, I felt like actually it was a really good fit for her. So I'm quite keen to see how that transition goes and then also to see if we'll see an improve in some of her health challenges as well. Um, so if you guys are interested, comment down below and I can definitely kind of pick this up with you again in a few weeks when I've kind of seen how she's reacted to that different style of food. Other little bits I got, I also got this little poo bag holder which says dog dad on it for Tom. It was just a little bit of a joke present because I, if I can give Tom a poo bag to hold, I will. I do not enjoy holding them and I just thought that was such a funny way to kind of laugh about that kind of aspect of our relationship i guess um this was from a brand called pop and ted they did so many cute little bits honestly i could have brought a lot more from them i really really recommend i'll try and link them down below but i literally just grabbed this because i thought it was just a little funny joke <laughs> so then the final store i went to or one of the final stores i went to was bugger lugs if you have not tried bugger lugs for washing your dog you are missing a treat because the scent of bugger lugs like shampoos lasts so long it is so so nice um so what i got from then was a no rinse papaya and coconut pore cleaner how useful is that so you've got kind of like this no rinse cleaner liquid in here which is mostly like a shampoo and then you have this little brush section um, which you can use to give the dog's paws a little bit of a scrub. You guys know that muddy paws is a bit of a challenge with Nelly. She almost always comes back with really muddy paws. And if we're doing a walk in the peaks and we're going into a pub, it is a little bit embarrassing, like having her muddy paws like trample over their clean floor. So I felt like this was a good way to tackle that issue really um, so I think I'm going to put this in her dog walking bag kind of like her big one and then yeah we can use it when she has those muddy paws that we all know and love along with that I also grabbed a bottle of the baby fresh detangling spray obviously you guys know Nelly is a cockapoo which means we do often have to brush her and detangle her um, and I just like the fact that we can put a spray in and make it just that little bit easier for her um, obviously it's not the nicest process at times and she doesn't love being brushed I know some dogs do she does not um, so I felt like it was quite nice to grab that as well they also then gave us some samples which was the scottish salmon oil and the shampoo testers i felt like these little bottles would be great for a little bit of shampoo to take with me uh when we go traveling um so i'm gonna pop that in nelly's little travel bag and then the scottish oil, the salmon oil i am quite intrigued to try obviously this haul has been filled with salmon for some reason um so yeah that will add that to the collection the only other thing I brought was a new harness that clips around her neck and has that front clip and back clip. Um, I'll try and insert some videos of it because Nelly's actually out today with Tom at work and she is wearing the harness so I can't show you. Um, I'll add in some videos now but in essence Nelly doesn't really love harnesses that go over her head and this one doesn't it clips around so I felt like that would be a lot more comfortable for her and all the other ones that we currently own they're actually a little bit too big and she can slip out of them so whilst I had Nelly with me at Crufts we did get her sized up and got a harness fitted so that she would be extra safe um this harness is from Tiggy Paws. Um, I absolutely love this brand. They were so friendly um, and I just felt like this design of harness was super sweet and just perfect for spring. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this vlog once again i just want to say a massive thank you to the neutral dog company for inviting nelly and me to cross it was an absolute treat no pun intended um and yeah thank you so so much i also want to say a massive thank you to you guys for watching this video for staying with me till the end i um, i wanted to try a new little thing where if you have stayed to the end of this video then would you like to comment a little paw print emoji um just let me know you know who's staying till the end i want to say a thank you to you because you are incredible 
as always don't forget to like and subscribe to this video well to this channel um it does mean the world it means you won't miss an upload and i am so excited for spring content to be starting if you have any kind of video requests for going into spring comment them down below i'd love to hear it and yeah, thank you so much for joining me in going to Crofts this year. I cannot wait to see you all again, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.